Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So in the last episode, we finally acquired enough gold to buy our house. It was a little bit of a shady deal. Immediately after we bought the house, the guy that sold it to us ran off and we had ghosts. Long story short, the guy that used to own the house was uh, a necromancer and his descendant sold it to us to try to cut off all ties with Anvil, all the loose ends and whatnot anyway. So we got him to break the seal to allow us to go confront the necromancer and rid the house of him. So now we have a ghost-free home, which is pretty good. I still need to bring all of my stuff to it. Should probably do that today. But beyond that, we will be continuing with the fighter's guild. So real quick, before I forget, I do know I had um, dropped a bunch of stuff off at Cloud Ruler Temple, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the stuff I have currently up, which I actually don't know what all that is. Uh, we do have some extra weapons. I don't know how many of these I want to keep on me. Usually we use this one. Might put the claymore up, I guess? Really should fix my Curus. Uh, we do have extra money, so I'll try to remember to do that too. We have a lot of potions. I could probably set some of those down. And some ingredients and scrolls. Lo lots of stuff. Okay, yes. Could probably do stuff with these sigil stones too, but... I feel like I don't use them as much as I should because I'm always nervous too. So what if I need them more later? Get that stuff out of there. This is going to be where we put our armor, which, once again, I don't think we have anything to put here right now. Uh, we could put our weapons in here. I'll find somewhere else to put all the misc stuff. Yeah, we'll put that in there. And the arrows, we don't really need those. Uh, yeah, misc stuff can go in here. Extra books and papers I'll just put in here. Doing some home organizing today. Now, potions. I like how we're just gonna have this ectoplasm in our house, apparently. Uh, this seems like a good spot for potions, I'm thinking. We'll keep one cure disease on us. Okay, I put some of the duplicates up, some of the things like restoring speed and whatnot. Just more situational things in there, don't let me forget that. <laughs> sigil stones, what do I want to do with all these sigil stones? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put them in the chest, put everything else down here. I'll uh, probably use them eventually. But for now, I need to put a lot of stuff up just so I have the room in my inventory to bring stuff back. <laughs> and lastly, uh, alchemy supplies. I guess I'll just put those in here. Might be playing as a different character to do the Mage's Guild. Haven't quite decided yet how I want to do that. So may not be worrying about alchemy too much because I don't know how into it Corellian would be. But okay, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get the rest of our stuff and put it all up. Did I see a house below Cloud Ruler Temple? What was that? Ashen Rose's house. Okay, I think that's from a mod. That I still need to get out of here. Okay, I dropped all of this stuff right here. I figured I would have already read these. But I guess not. Well, there's some leveling. How about that? Um, don't know if I put anything else down in here. I'll take a look. Oh, Martin. I think Joffrey died too. All my friends are dead. I know Boris died, but that was kind of my fault. <laughs> ah, yes, this definitely looks like some sort of shrine. What a better offering than an onion! I know if I was a god, that, that'd be what I'd want. Um, okay, I, I did drop this stuff. Don't know if we need this stuff again, but uh... Yeah, I think I'll probably just leave it here. Okay, I think that's everywhere where I've dropped stuff. Uh, I could be missing some things. If you remember me just throwing stuff on the ground anywhere else, uh, let me know. And maybe I'll go retrieve it, but let's take all this back first. Oh, what a beautiful day. Okay, I know we picked up some robes. Extra boots, put those up. That up, that up, all of this stuff. Picked up some books as well. Actually, I think some staves too. But, uh... Yeah, we have a lot of potions that restore magic up. Just put those up. Okay, now I'm gonna repair my stuff. I don't remember if this cleaver was better than our axe, so I'll get it repaired and we'll see which one we want to keep. But I think that was it anyway. Looks like it. Let's go to the armorer. Ooh, creepy looking in there. It's only like 5.30 p.m. and it looks like this. Okay, into that oblivion fix. Gate was an impressive feat of yeah, yeah, it was. Fix my Let stuff. Let me take a look at what you've got. Okay, especially, especially that. Ouch. I guess fix the sword. You know what? Re repair all. Yeah, just repair all. <laughs> We have the money for it, why not? Okay, the battle axe is better. I might just go ahead and keep the cleaver on me anyways, because we can hold over a hundred more pounds. And look at that, our curse is better. 
because it was doing nothing okay. for us. But okay, we are now going to continue on with the Fighters Guild. I don't remember what we were supposed to do. Ah, okay, we're going to Coral. Right then, let's head off. My athletics increased. That's good. Because I am quite slow. Oh, I forget. I still need to fix all of this. Ugh. Do temples fix that? I can't even remember. Does and Morrowind. I was usually too much of a criminal to use this, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. We're fixed. Starting off the episode strong, though I'm already 15 minutes into the episode. A lot of that was probably edited down. And we're doing a lot better than we were. Oh yeah, he's probably not even here right now, is he? No, probably not. Let's wait a little bit. There he is. Good. I'm honored to speak to the champion of Cyrodiil. God, you look horrendous. What do you need? He's all nice to me now, but you know as soon as I talk to him about duties, he's gonna go back to being a jerk. I've got another job for you. Slightly off the record. Definitely a different You'll be tone. going on a mission with Varanus Donton. Yes, the Guildmaster's son. Oh my god, yes! Oh, I love this little man. He's so dumb. Every time I have him with me, he constantly goes unconscious. Uh, yes, I most definitely let him. But if you if you go down a hill, the man dies. Like, <laughs> well, goes unconscious, you know. Uh, I used to uh, just keep him as my follower a lot of the times. So this is where I have ended many Fighters Guild playthroughs, just because I love this dumb little man. I fondly nicknamed him Anus. You're to accompany him and make sure he succeeds. He needs some time in the field oh, to man. get his confidence up, or he'll never become a good warrior. Okay, the okay. The coddles the boy too much. Doesn't want him in the line of fire. Suppose it's no surprise after the Vitellus. So, I mean, if, if he's to accompany me to gain some confidence, <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to doing some side quests with him, too. Mm hmm? If we have any that we need to do, I might. I don't know. I feel like we'll probably have some time to do that, hopefully. His mother's been holding him back, protecting him. You'll go to Nanwil Cavern with him. Galtus Previa was lost there, and you're to find him. Right? And not a word of this to the Guildmaster. Go find him. He'll be in the Dantan house, most likely. And bring him back in one piece. I'll try my best, but... The boy is wasting. quite squishy, but okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. What all do we have? We're not doing that yet. Right, we got this the last episode of the first season. Uh, has it been two weeks? I think it would tell us when we're good to get our armor. It's the 25th of Heartfire. Uh, I don't know what it is today. Also, we have Meridia. <laughs> we have some things we could do if y'all want to. A lot of this is uh, DLC stuff down here. Hold on, what day is it? That was the 25th, so assuming it's 30 days long, it has almost been two weeks. So, like, I think, I think tomorrow might be two weeks. I think we could take him to go do that, too. Yeah, let's, let's just go get him. Let's go get our new friend. I want to spend some quality time with him. Corellian needs a friend. He doesn't really have a lot of those. Ready? Oh, <gasps> he has luxurious hair now. Good for you, man. Well, lux luxurious is a little bit of a stretch, but... He has longer hair, that's weird. Greetings, guildmate. What can I do for you? <sighs> that's some great lighting on you. Uh, hey! I was told you're supposed to come with me! I'm Varenus Daunton. What can I do for you? Yeah, I, I know. Am I, A mission? What? Okay. Well, <laughs> of course. I'm sure we can do this. You say this came from Orion himself. Well, perhaps I should speak with Mother first. Oh, he's such a weenie! No time, we've gotta go. Oh, I'm prepared, of course. He just sits here all day in his armor. Let's go. <laughs> what a sad, sad little man. I'm with you. Great. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do this. Then we might take some detours afterwards. Why not? I'm pretty sure we can do this, and he'll still be following me afterwards. I think. I'll uh, just save just in case, because we wouldn't want to lose our new friend. Oh, we got lady here too. Uh, wait. We immediately lost him. Anus? Where'd you go, buddy? Could you not even keep up? For that short little stroll? Okay, well, why were you just standing there, you freak? Get get through the door. Just go towards the door. Go through it this time, man. Is he here? 
Okay, he's here now. Hello. Alrighty then, let's go. Lovely day in the woods, is it not? Now, this guy needs some experience under his belt. I'm gonna make sure he gets that. Uh, I'm gonna let him do most of the fighting. I think that's a good call of action. It's gonna be like late game Skyrim whenever I just kind of let my followers do all the work because I have so many of them. Well, I only have like one and then also Lady who doesn't really help fight. Oh, she look like it's a cute little family portrait. Look at that. Maybe I should take off my ring because it looks a little horrendous. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. But the cave isn't even that far away. Like, I know his mom's not supposed to be, um, you know, informed of all of this. And I have a feeling uh, she would be if we kept him out for like uh, a week. But, you know, we're gonna do it anyways. No one said Corellian was a responsible babysitter, though he does seem to be assigned the role quite a lot. I'm here to give him experience and an experience he is gonna get. Look at that cute little fence. Oh, I just love walking around in Cyrodiil. It's so lovely. Forgot how slow Corellian walks though, like... <laughs> feel like we've been right next to it for three years and... Okay, now I think we're finally here. I think this is it? I assume? Yes. Alright, Anus, you ready for this? I don't think you are. You're gonna go unconscious so much and I'm so excited. Oh, he's mad! Okay, we are being attacked. We have arrived, yeah. Go for it, man! Oh, I gotta get the ring back on for this. We don't want to miss any of this because it's dark. I believe in you! Oh, you're so fast. I am not. Oh, hopefully we can keep up. I mean, he's just kind of rushing into danger anyways. This is kind of his fault. All right, the, the troll likes me. Okay, no, I want to watch him fight the trolls. Okay. Oh, he's got three trolls on him. Maybe I should help a little bit. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to hit him though, and he's going to get mad at me. Oh, well, I think we have to worry about it now. Oh, there's a rat too? That's probably what did it to him, let's be honest. Inus! Okay, you're okay. Yeah, you did good! I guess. They're all kind of wiggling uncomfortably there, but yeah, you did it! You kind of helped. Kinda. Let's see, which way? Uh, this looks like it's just a little bonus room. No, no, there's a hallway. Ooh, tiny dagger, hello. I feel like I can actually pick stuff up now. I can begin hoarding things, it's wonderful. Okay, is this a bonus room? <gasps> oh. oh, we know what I must do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test you, Anus. Can you do it? <sighs> oh, you hit me, man, that wasn't cool. He looks a little mad about it, doesn't he? <laughs> Magicka Vortex Tome, oh, a spell. Sure, I'll read that, what does it do? Absorb Magicka and uh, weakness to magic and stunted Magicka. Okay. Corellian uses spells sometimes, not a whole lot. non wheel Chamber of the Titans. That's where we're supposed to go, so I want to see what's over here. I want to spend as much time with our new friend as we can. Definitely not for my own personal amusement. And... oh, no, not a dead end. Another chest, though. Oh, oh. Chamber of the Titans. Looks like it leads to the same place, so... Ooh, look at that! Go get him! Go get him! Oh. <laughs> Wait, great! Well done, my friend. Ow. Okay, okay, he does hit kind of hard. I'll admit- Oh, he's back up! Well, I was gonna say, come save me, but... Save myself. Oh, I love being able to actually pick up stuff. I guess ogres are the titans that this is talking about. Ugh. No! No, I used to be so good at this, I swear! Uh. Oh, we're being attacked! Go get him! Protect me! Oh, he blocked at that time! Oh, oh god. <laughs> Just yeeted him to another plane of existence, I think. I will give it to the ogres, though, and uh, to our friend. They they hurt. They hurt a little bit. <laughs> at least he's fine. Probably has a little bit of brain damage now, but he probably already did. Oh. Alright. Try it this time. Couple of trolls. You can take it. <laughs> Excellent work. Outstanding move. Come on, buddy. Get up. There you go. Oh! We're immediately under attack again! Take me to them! Oh no. This is gonna go great! I just wanna watch him ragdoll away. Let's step back. <gasps> is he actually gonna do it, though? <gasps> okay! He's doing- He was doing good. Actually, no, he wasn't. <laughs> it looks like he landed a few hits, but... 
Didn't really do much in the process, did he? Okay, you you got this. You can do it, man. You can do it. I'll distract him. I'll tank him for you. You actually did it. Oh, I'm so proud. A little hurt now from it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's the experience. We're training him. We're training him. Oh, that was a dead end. Where, where are you going? What did you hear? Uh-oh. <laughs> He's too fast. Too fast for little Corellian. Enus, where did you go? Oh, no. Is he through here? I think he ran off this way. Okay, yeah, he's here, he's here. How did you sense the trolls from that far away? <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, thanks for leading me to it, I guess. That's so sad. Oh, oh man. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a minotaur! Oh, yes. Okay, he took one hit. Improvement, improvement. He's doing good! He blocked him! Oh, wow. You can do it, man! Alright. I, I didn't really believe in you. You did no damage. Alright! Well, you tried your best. That's what counts. <laughs> Once again, Corellian proves to be a very, very responsible babysitter. Though I'm not, not convinced he's younger than me. I don't know. Like, hold on. I know I'm an elf, so it's a little bit different. But, like, okay, okay. I'm looking, I'm looking at the dead minotaur, but Corellian has quite the baby face. You got- you got some wrinklage going on, so I don't know. Don't know who's really older. Oh, I don't even- I don't even want it. Oh. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Quick saving after that one. Guess I can drop all my water breathing potions now. Fortify armor, that's kinda cool. We'll take it, why not? We have a house now. I really should work on more of my skills, more like, I don't know, stuff like alchemy and armor in uh, my series. I really do whenever I'm playing on my own. But I guess just, you know, whenever you're recording a video, you're trying to make it an interesting video. Wait, is this the guy's in here? That looked like it let out. Where is this man? Oh, <laughs> that way. <laughs> the one way we didn't go. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm more so focused on the story and whatnot than I don't really, like... <laughs> I don't know, I don't focus on improving my armor or, like... Improving my skills, all of that stuff. Oh, I hear- oh, a troll, the very fast troll, wow. All right, let's see how far you can get on it this time. I think you had a little bit of time to heal up. Not, not really, okay, all right. But he did do some damage, okay. Look at you, getting better. That was a complete miss. <laughs> Proud of you, Anus. Proud of you. All right, last troll, probably. We found the guy, saw him. Oh, yeah, saw him on the ground dead. Hopefully that doesn't happen to our friend here as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Once again. Flew him all the way over here. My god, you okay, man? Ooh. That's kind of cool shield. I'm gonna take that. Kind of weird looking, wasn't it? Wait. You came in here? This man came in here wearing nothing but his overalls. No wonder you're dead, guy. See, this is what you don't do. All right, we could go back now, but I think uh, I have some other things I need to do real quick. I always press the wrong thing. Yeah, let's go see what the Dunmer wanted last season. That was kind of weird, right? <laughs> and while we're in the Imperial City, you know, I'm, I'm taking him to go see the city, you know? Maybe he's never been there. He's gotta live a little bit, you know? Can't always just stay under your mother's wing. I will show you the world, my friend. All right, secret exit. It wasn't pointing us to here, but we're out. Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> real quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's gonna do it, the madman! <laughs> Oh man, if your friends jump off a rock, will you too? Apparently he will. Your mother taught you nothing, apparently. But uh, yeah, I feel like usually when I have him with me, this is the route I take to leave and he just kind of falls and, and dies a lot. He's doing pretty good so far. I'm actually impressed by that. <laughs> Let's see if he can keep going. Oh, where, where are you running off to? Come on, you can do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, See, I think- oh, oh, he did jump a little bit there. I think he learned a little bit. Oh, 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 this is dangerous! <gasps> no, he's fine. 
I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> Why does he just like stand like that? Oh, there he goes. <gasps> what are you fighting? Oh, a wolf. Look at that. Can he actually do it? Could you kill a wolf? It's just a wolf, man. What's the matter? <laughs> Come on! You can do it! Well, he did his best. <laughs> okay, guy. Uh, hopefully he will follow me to the Imperial City. Not really sure. Let's try it out. I wanna- I wanna go do some other stuff real quick. Is he here? Am I here? Where- why am I- what is this? Right, I forgot it's all messed up. And I don't think our friend is here anymore. No! What if I fast travel over here? Did he go home? What a nerd. Following his mother's orders. Oh no, no, he's here, he's here. I don't know why it's all bugged out in there, but uh, maybe that's just why he didn't follow me. Maybe if I walk to it, he'll come with me. Right, okay, seems to have followed this time, despite the very it's glitchy you. ground. Hi. Yeah, I only saved you in this whole freaking world. No big deal, right? Ugh. Lady's probably asleep, or are we talking- Okay, yeah, we're talking to her husband. Don't know if they're gonna let us inside at this hour, but maybe they will. Oh, no, they will let us in. Okay. I'm taking you on a proper quest, my friend. <gasps> Look at it's his hair. It's an honor to find Oh, Elitra. he's so tall. <laughs> when I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Why, well, oh, thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Seridur. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. Huh. If huh? you'll come with me. This is suspicious, but lead on. Splendid. Watch your step. I think he's gonna try to kill us. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Oh, look at his dumb hair. <laughs> He's like an even more stretched out version of the adoring fan. You're gonna try to kill us. There's an Argonian here. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? They're Mythic Dawn. I'm honored by your presence. I bet you are. Nice to meet you. Uh huh. Welcome. You're now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, Defenders, we oh. guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. I could have sworn that was a Mythic Dawn hunters. flag. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were. Why do I not remember this? Well, Is this, this a DLC? Was like the tiny one? Them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Hold on a moment. It's like, I didn't have all, like, the tiny little DLCs as a kid, so this might be something new for me. Wait, wait, this is sounding familiar, actually. Yeah, I think I have done this. It's just been a very long time. Okay, tell me more about the vampire. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one. Until now. Great work. <laughs> It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Janseric is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. Okay. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. All right, we can do that. A few sure. Ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. <laughs> as I headed past the house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. Uh huh. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. All right then. How do I find I him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. All right. Oh, this is so exciting. Like, I I think I have 
done this at least once, but it's you very unfamiliar and oblivion. Like, pretty much everything in it I've done, like, 20 million times, so <gasps> it's nice to find something that I haven't. You know, their flag does weird me out a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, they just make actual... <gasps> There's, like, actual Mythic Dawn flags on Redbubble. Interesting. But yeah, like you see, it's like the sun and it's all red. It's been a little bit since I've seen it, so kind of get him mixed up there. But look how happy he looks. We're vampire hunters, Anus. See, this is what a true quest is like. Okay, uh, I need to find my way into his house. I don't know, this is gonna... This is probably gonna require some sneaky business and uh, we're both in heavy armor, so that's gonna go well. Yeah, maybe... Maybe. <laughs> If I wait until morning, he'll just let me in. You never know. No, no, it, do it doesn't appear he will. Okay, what about, he you know, he's a vampire, wait a few more hours. He's probably not awake yet. Nope, nope, it's gonna be a crime. And my game crashed, thanks. Maybe it's a sign, a sign that we probably shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna try my best. I guess let's just quick save. Uh, he might not like it if I do crime. Are you gonna get mad about this? I feel like you are. We oh wait oh oh it went away. I I don't think he's gonna like this one. We may have to do this later. <laughs> oh, there. Stay. Go. What do I care? Looks like you are in <laughs> some trouble. Since we're oh, friends, no. don't worry. I'll look the other way and take care of that fine for you. Oh, he's chill about it. All right. Thanks, man. I don't know if that was you or him. He was probably just walking by and saw that, but I'm still going to break in. Don't mind me. I have arrived. I should begin to search the place for any clues. Okay. Uh, you are in here. I don't know if you're going to get mad about all of this. I'm just going to walk. <laughs> don't know if anyone's even in here. Gonna have to break into one of these though, and he might not like that either, but what can you do? Did you report that? He probably reported that. Yeah, he did. Okay, great! You're a bad accomplice! Oh, he didn't even come in here. What a jerk. Starting to rethink the whole best friend business. Gonna judge me for stuff like this. If you need quality arms, have a shop of fighting chance. That's definitely not what we're looking for. Recipe, no. Okay, maybe the basement would be better. Hey man, goody two-shoes weenie. I'm going down here now. Oh, he actually followed, look at that. Oh, this is kind of weird. Looks like you are in some trouble. Oh, Since yeah, okay, we're friends. Sorry, it looks like you've wandered Hold on, man, street. I'm busy. You've got to leave. You don't see me. I'm not here anymore. Shh. Go away. Don't get mad. Look, I'm, I'm here for good reason. I swear. Uh, there's crime in here. Lots of crime. Look at, look at this. It's an ad. <laughs> no, look. I'm down here for a reason. More, more ads. Okay, well. My Imperial Dragon Armor is ready. Look, look at that. There's nothing in here. Is that just me? Am I supposed to pick the locks up there? I don't want to. Hold on, man, just real quick. There's gotta be something. This is your last warning. Get out or I'll arrest you. Don't do it, man, okay? I'll go upstairs. I'm sorry. Is he still up here? Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. Kinda. What's this? Shopping list? An ad? It's just a normal dude! No! Okay, like, that's, like, locked, and it's, like, really hard, and I suck at lockpicking, and I'm a criminal now, like, <laughs> thanks, man. Can't trust you for anything. Why is that so hard? There has to be a key, right? He has a skull in here. That's illegal, right? It's kind of gross. Any secret hidden keys, hmm? In the desk? No. It's gotta be, like, one of these. It has to be. But I'm not good at picking locks. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, just give me a moment. Uh. <gasps> oh, it's awful. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I actually did it. 
I legitimately don't think there's anything even in here. <laughs> what? All right, let's try this one. Oh. Oh look, I did it for nothing. Wait, there's a little box here. Ha, 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 ha. Wow. So useful. What is this? Okay, is is it downstairs? Is there something downstairs? Hello? Okay, the guard might still be down here. I don't see him. But there's Skooma right there and the guard uh, the guard didn't do anything about it. Looks like there's Skooma man! Some trouble. Okay, fine. You know what? You I am gonna leave. This just seems like a normal guy. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. We found something. There was skooma down there. Guard's getting all mad at me. I caught a criminal and a vampire. After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think this may be where Roland could be hiding. I should head out there immediately. Okay. Did you get mad about that? I don't even see him right now, so I'm just gonna go. No, I think he's kind of stuck in there. Hello. No crime here. But okay, to the east, ah, over here. Well, I'll go ahead and teleport here and walk. He may be our friend. Yes, will rejoin us. Thanks for nothing in there, by the way. Just exposing me to the guards. Oh, oh I'm under attack. Take care of it for me, my friend. It's probably a fish. Look, a lady. <laughs> I heard him kill it. Oh, you did it. He was just underwater. What even is that? Okay. Oh, oh, I hear talking. Bandits! Watch out, Anus! But I believe in you. Oh, no, don't go after Lady. Why do they always do that? Stop. So freaking rude. Shouldn't do anything to you. Ugh. Scum. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's doing it. I saw a lot of blood, at least. I hope it's not his blood. Probably is. Oh no, no, he is I'm doing it. Oh, <gasps> you did it! Yay! So happy for you, man. Alright, looks like we're getting close to the cabin. Don't see it yet. Oh, oh, there it is. Alright, hopefully this doesn't uh, require more crime, but we shall see. I've arrived at the cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's here. I should be cautious, as Serdar warned me that vampires could be very dangerous. Yeah. I kind of figured that, but thanks. Okay, no crime, no crime. Stay away. What? There he is. Oh, we found him, man. Okay. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Uh, you're a vampire. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those? Oh, filthy apparently, I just creatures? asked about vampires. Serida says you're a vampire. That <laughs> Serida dares accuse me of being a vampire. Me? Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. What? What do you mean? I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Calm down and explain, Roland. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Uh... Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Relfina. What happened that night? Yes, I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. Mm hmm when she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I, don't see I saw things. him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Why didn't you tell someone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. 
I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Uh huh. I mean, he did send someone else to come get me while he stayed away from the sun. Could I see you go outside? Could you do that for me? I don't think I could ask. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? I'm not gonna kill you Thank yet. You. <sighs> I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. I just, I don't know. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend I'm he has I'm kind to believe in him. You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition ah, bookshop in the market okay. district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. Sure. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. I'll try my best. Remain huh. leery of Seridor. This is weird. It's got a weird twist, lady. Could you not? Yeah, let's go talk to Fintius. Hey, Fintius. Looks like you changed your hair too, pleasure. man. Please continue. Uh... What do you know about Seridor? Seridor? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. What does it mean? Memorial Cave? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. Yeah. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. Well, I bet he's the vampire. <laughs> I just assumed Seridor had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Seridor is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. Okay. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Thanks. I guess we're heading there then? I have a feeling uh, we're gonna find some vampires. Just, just a little bit of a suspicion there. Oh, I'm being attacked and I don't have my little friend to do all the dirty work for me. How unfortunate. Guess I'll just have to simply get out of the water. Right, here's the cave. Yep, let's investigate. Um, hello? Not be tolerated. You had a funky helmet. Oh no, I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, there we go. One vampire down. Ooh. Okay, okay, I'll take the greaves. I never wear helmets, but uh. Yeah, they're a little better and they also match. Look at that. Looking nice, Corellian. Hello? Oh, stop going invisible. Don't mind me, I'm just grave robbing. It's all part of the job. You'll learn these things over time, Anus. Oh god, that looked horrifying! Oh no, I contracted it. I think I have- yeah, I kept one potion of cure disease, so we should be fine. Oh, wait! Die, Wait, you look just like him. No, no, his hair is more red, okay. <laughs> he was threatening our friend! Hey, Seridor, what are you doing, man? Come on, can I talk to you? You fool! Oh, apparently Did I can! Did you really think that I'm surprised to see you here? <laughs> I let you find me. What better place to get rid of you than all the way out here? What a jerk. No messy bodies left behind. No evidence. I was sloppy last time with Roland's lover, and I won't make the same mistake twice. Yeah, sure. After I'm through with you, I'll find Roland and finish what I started. I knew hiring you was a mistake, but I had to keep up appearances. You did a great job. The damned order insisted we get you into the picture. I think after I'm done with Roland, Gillen and Greythroat will have to be dealt with. Messed up, man. Quite a list of things to do, wouldn't you say? Well, enough of my monologue. Time to feed. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Just just, uh... <laughs> Very difficult. Well, let's go tell Roland then. I hope you're here to bring me good news. That I am. Serator is dead. He's dead? Thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. The ironic thing is that I think the Order of the Virtuous Blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the other. Oh, so they weren't vampires yes. too. I think that the Order will live okay. on. Okay. Give me time to make arrangements I figured they and all meet were. me in Seridor's basement. Oh. Okay, well it keeps going then. I guess we can work on that more I'll later. See you in the Imperial City. Right then. 
But I think I'm gonna go ahead, uh, take that potion real quick. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here just because I've been recording for quite a while. But look at that, Corellian has made two Hello whole again, friends today. Friend. He even called me his friend. Amazing. But yeah, maybe we'll continue on with this some more in the next episode. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Let me know what you want me to do. Keep going with the Order of the Virtuous Blood, assuming there is more to do. It seems like there is. Hello again, my friend. Uh, I get it. I get it. Or if you want me to move back on to the Fighters Guild. Either way, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.